Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am just going to share with you how I put together this super cute happy mail idea. So I had the idea to make something like this based on a um, clothespin photo wreath that I saw. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, definitely a little bit smaller and also something that you could use as a form of happy mail to send to your friend or pal. So I'll go through and kind of show you um, what I included in this one and then I'll show you how to put your own together. So um, here I have some little ephemera pieces um, and throughout this whole happy mail um, I included ephemera pieces just because they add a lot of decoration and your pal could also reuse them. So it's kind of like a win-win. Um, it makes your project look cute but also adds some goodies for your friend. So um, ephemera pieces here are little cut aparts from the paper I used which was um, the 6x6 paper pad of Gather by Maggie Holmes. And then I uh, included this cute little pic that I got from my pen pal Becky a while ago. And then I just clipped a little piece of ephemera here. Here I included a little bag of sequins. This I just glued a wood veneer heart onto and then added some more ephemera pieces and a little tag. Over here I put some little pearl gems, more ephemera. In this one, I made a cute little um, clipboard. And in this one, I added some washi tape. And then as you can see, the entire middle part is decorated. I added some uh, mini pom-pom trim all the way around um, just to give it a bit of a cuter look. Um, and what's great about this is that it doubles as a photo wreath. So once you send it to your pal, they can unclip everything from it and then clip in their own photos and then hang it up on their wall. So um, the only thing um, I don't really like about this project is the back looks a little bit messy, so I'll show you. Um, it's a work in progress. I don't really know how to go about making this look super cute. And in the end, it's going to be hanging on a wall. So you're not gonna see the back. Um, this was the first one I made and you can see here I kind of miscalculated how many clothespins I was going to need. So um, I didn't have any more and I didn't space them out properly, but it works if you just rearrange the goodies um, on the front to kind of spread them out, then it all looks cohesive. And here I just add in some cute little sequin trim uh, to hang it up on the wall. And I tested it out and it hangs perfectly. I had it up for days and it held just fine. So that is the cute little um, wreath happy mail. I guess that's what we'll be calling it. And now um, if you want to find out how to make your own then stick around and I'll show you. All right, so what you're going to need to make this project is first and foremost an embroidery hoop. So I got this one from Michaels. It is four inches. It is the same size I used for the one I just showed you. And um, it was only a couple dollars. And what's great is that you only need one half of the embroidery hoop for this project. Um, you don't need two. So you can get two of these projects with one hoop. So super um, great deal for that. So um, you could use this side and kind of decorate this up, have stuff hanging from it if you want to. I'm just going to use this side for now. And you're also going to need some scissors. I'm currently in the process of getting some new craft scissors. I've ruined all of mine. You're going to need um, a pencil, some double-sided quarter inch tape. This is from Joann's from their $2 spot. You're also going to need some medium sized clothespins. I believe these measure about two inches or so. And these are also from the Joann's $2 spot and you get 20 in a pack. 
and you're also going to need some glue and then um, some hot glue as well which I have off camera heating up at the moment and of course you're going to need some adorable paper so this is actually from a DCWV paper pad called Hello Darling um, I got that on sale at Joann's um, about a month ago and it's so adorable um, I absolutely love the colors so I figured I could kind of fussy cut out these typewriters and then we also have some super cute cut aparts I might be able to use in this project. Here is a piece of paper I thought I might use. So what I did before I started filming was just go through the paper pad and take out all the um, papers I thought I might want to use. This is like a little um, ephemera sheet that you can fussy cut everything out of so I'll be doing some of that. And this is the same as that black uh, piece of paper with the flowers. It's just green and I'm not usually a fan of green, but this shade of green is beautiful. Um, I love it. It has such a fun, vibrant feel to it. And then of course, this honeycomb pattern is adorable. So those are the sheets I'm going to be working with today for this project. You can use any paper you want. I would recommend um, a little bit heavier um, not like a single sheet one unless you back it with some plain cardstock first. Alright, so the first step is to get the background glued on to your hoop. So what we're going to do is decide what we want as our background. So I am leaning more towards the green compared to the black at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the green flowers. Nope, I'm going with the honeycomb, guys. <laughs> You can see my whole process of trying to figure things out. So um, you're just going to flip your paper over. Just measure it up in the corner so you don't waste too much paper. Take your pencil and then trace around the outer part of your hoop. So you can use any size hoop that you want for this. Just keep in mind if you use something smaller to use smaller sized clothespins. And if you use a bigger embroidery hoop, then use larger clothespins just to kind of balance out the whole look. So once you have that trace, you are going to cut it out. And it doesn't have to be totally perfect. Once you have your hoop glued on, you can kind of go um, around it and cut off any excess if needed. All right, so for gluing purposes, I'm just going to use a plain sheet of craft cardstock um, to avoid making a mess. So on the first one I made, I used hot glue to glue this down just because I was working fast. Um, but I feel like this liquid glue once dry might hold better so I'm going to give that a try. So I'm just going to add glue all the way around my hoop and then secure it down and let that dry. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry and adhere together. Well, we move on to the next step. Make sure it doesn't stick to the paper. All right, so the next step is to decorate our cute little clothespins. And what you want to do is take some of your decorative paper and we're going to cut a quarter inch strips. So however wide your clothespins are, that's how wide you're gonna want it and the same with the length. 
So I'm going to actually use this sheet of paper, which already has some pre-trimmed paper, and just trim that down with my paper cutter. So like I said, I'm just going to cut quarter inch strips. So you can use as many patterns as you want. You could do um, two and just go round um, you know, every other one is a different pattern, um, but I am just going to kind of mix and match and see what I come up with. So here are all my strips of paper. Super cute. Okay, so next is to take your one inch double-sided tape, and you're just going to run it along the top of each clothespin. So this is a little bit time consuming. So you're just going to run it along, adhere it down, and then cut off the rest. So you should have something that looks like this, and then when we're ready to put all of our strips on, we will go through and take off the other side. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put double-sided tape on all of my clothespins, and also off camera, I went ahead and cut out some little die-cut ephemera pieces that I might want to use in the project. All right, so since our base is still drying, all we have to do is go ahead and take off the protective part of the tape on the other side of the tape. And then you're just going to line up your quarter inch piece of paper, adhere it down, and then cut the rest off. And there you go, super cute little clothespin to add to your project. So now we just have to do that for all the rest. And now we have all of our 11 clothespins decorated. Super cute little designs on each of them. We got little roses, floral patterns, stripes and wood grain. Super cute, guys. Um, and this is going to tie the project together nicely. And then some die cut pieces I think I'm going to use are these ones here. I just fussy cut them out of that sheet that I showed you at the start. So we'll see which I decide to use. And now it's time to take your base, which is just about all the way dried. So, and if you want to trim off any of those parts sticking out, now would be the time to do so. Okay. And now we are going to take our project base and flip it over. And we are just going to kind of line up the clothespins with the part that opens against here and just arrange them so that there's enough room for all of them. So you'll have to play with the placement a little bit. Okay, 
think I made one too many. So I'm just gonna squeeze him in here because I don't want to actually just going to use 10 guys so you're going to make sure that you have enough room for all of them here is where we will put the string to hang it up on the wall okay so now kind of decide where all of your clips are going to go and what pattern you want them to go So we're gonna do it in this pattern. And now you just want to flip this over in the center. So you'll kind of have an idea of where you're going to hot glue each one. All right, so when you hot glue these, you want to hot glue on the side that has the paper so that when you flip it over, the decorated side is showing. And you just want to add glue to about half an inch here at the edge. All right, and once you have hot glue added here, you're just going to put that into place and press down, um, just enough pressure so that it allows the glue to adhere, but not enough so that you're going to break through your base. All right, and now we're just going to go around and glue each one, and remember it's on, the side that closes is um, sticking out. So add glue to the decorated side about the last half inch and then just adhere it down. And there you can see we have our cute little Thing coming together so um, I kept going back and forth about how many clothespins I would need and I only needed 10 but um, you could definitely use this in the project still so keep that around and the next thing to do is add some trim around the edges to decorate it So that is what we have so far. I think it's coming together really nicely, looking super adorable. So now it's time to decorate. So I'm just going to take some ephemera pieces, kind of layer them up and just see how I might want it to look. Because it is a bit of a decoration piece as well as um, Happy Mail, so you kind of want to give it like the best of both worlds. Um, all right, guys, so I just fussy cut it out some more ephemera pieces, um, just because I I felt like I didn't cut out enough to choose from, and I think what I'm gonna do is layer this across so that it has kind of a nice base for the rest of the ephemera. Place this here place the hello, and then add a little bird right here. And I think that looks super cute, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that is how it looks um, once it's all 
put together and now it's time to clip in the goodies or if you are simply making this for yourself and not a pal then you can add some little ephemera pieces and pictures uh, to spice this up a bit for this size of hoop I would recommend using smaller photos um, smaller than wallet size so maybe two by two um, you know nothing about like this big uh, the bigger it is the more it might get a little bit overwhelmed so um but play around with it and see what works for you so I am just going to add some goodies to this and then I will be back to show you the final project and what I decided to add all right so I forgot that we have to add our hanging mechanism so just find the top and that's going to be right about here all right so I'm going to take my one inch circle punch and I'm going to use some pink twine that matches nicely just going to cut measure how long I want this to be so about there and then I'm going to punch a circle I'm just going to use the same paper that I used on the front Pieces, which is here add some glue apply your string or whatever you're using to hang it with add some glue to your one inch circle punch and then just press that down and allow it to dry now don't press too hard this project is all about uh, like gentle hands <laughs> we want it to adhere but we don't want to press so hard that we break through to the other side so and that is where it will hang up from so you can see it hangs perfect no problem at all not going to come apart all right so now it's time to add goodies and then once I've done that I'll get back to you guys all right, so I went through um, my stash and everything and put together some um, an assortment of goodies that I might want to include on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of play around until I get something that I think looks nice. So I got some tags here. I got some little pearl gems, some wood veneer hearts in a little baggie paper clips in a little baggie, a sample of some twine that's gold and white, a silver glitter roll of washi tape, some little hearts, and also a little star, a tassel, which is green and I thought it made the project kind of pop, a little gold mini clothes pin kind of matches my nails almost and then some things I fussy cut as well as some more die cuts so now it's time to just kind of assemble all of this and see how I want to arrange it all so to put your goodies in you have to flip your project over and then just very gently press on this and it'll open it up uh, the clothespin enough for you to slide your goodies inside. So I think I'm going to put these two maybe over here. And then we can kind of flip it over and see what that would look like. And I think that looks pretty cute. Okay. Guys. 
so here is the final project. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful if you were wanting to make a project like this. I think that this is super fun just because it holds so much goodies for your pal and then it can also be reused in their craft, uh, their craft room. So definitely a fun project. If you decide to give this a try, I would love to see. So please feel free to tag me on Instagram at Bambi's Mail. I will leave a link to that down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.